uh, how do you interpret Genesis 3.15, Zara, her seed? In Genesis 3 and 15, when it says his seed and her seed is just saying his child and her child. It still would involve two people having and being at odds with each other from the gate. So he's saying the serpent seed and her seed because she carries seed and gives birth. You can find that in Genesis, the 19th chapter, when uh, a, a lot's daughters got him drunk. Why? Because they said to preserve seed of their father. Who is the serpent seed to Zariak? When the serpent seed of Genesis three fifteen, who who is it? That, that would be you. <laughs> you you know my genealogy by looking at me. No, I'm just hey, that's just what I'm going with. That yeah, would I got be you. 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 you know I knew you were going to answer that, but I want to have some fun here. <laughs> Uses a verb that means to become rather than be born. Genome instead of genao. In Galatians four four, Paul uses the same verb. This time inflected as genomenon, which means coming from a woman. Yet he describes Ishmael in the same passage, Galatians 4, as gagenadha, which is from gena, which is the regular way to describe being born. And in Philippians 2 7, he uses that same verb, genomenai, instead of genao, because that tends to associate to husband. Why? Can you, can you pause his time? I don't Why, know what's going what? on. I don't know what word you're talking about. You know how many words is in Romans 1 and 3? I don't know what you didn't say in Romans oh, okay. 1 and 3. I don't know what word you're talking about. The, the word that's translated sometimes is descended. Can you tell me what word in Romans 1 and 3 you're talking about? Yeah, it's translated as seed or descended. So you talk about the word seed. But I'm but I'm talking about that's 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 my point though. Do you no, have, I just want to make I do, I want to blue letter follow. Bible to show you what word it is. Oh. Listen, what it says is genomine, huh? The only reason I'm asking is so that when you go to these different verses, I can look for the same word. That's all I'm asking. You just didn't yeah, say yeah. what word. So you talk about the word seed or sperma. Well, so no, so sperma is not in. So no, where so where it says descended from spermatos. I'm where? talking about the word that's sometimes translated descended. I don't know what it says in the KJV, but. Here we'll look it up in the KJV. Hey, hey, hey Corey, just keep his time pause because I don't want his question in, right, and okay. I don't want your question to not be answered. When I read Romans one and three, it says concerning his son Jesus Christ, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. I don't know what version you're reading, but I need to go to the correct word because when I go to the what I thought you said was seed, that word is sperma from what I'm reading. So if it's a different word. You have to tell me what word so I can properly answer your question. You're right. I like that. Dom, thank you for I know clarifying. You I know you do. That's that's good. Do. And that's Look, good. I, I pause your time and everything because you need as much help as you can get. Well, I appreciate that. Now, to be fair to myself, I thought you would be up on game and know which word I was talking about. It's made. I didn't say spermatos, so I'm clearly not talking about Actually, that. It's which made. Word? Well, it's you never made said. in English, I, translated KJV, which was made. That's the word I'm asking for the record, about. For the record, when I said seed, you said yes. And then you change your mind. That's why no, no. when you ask, when you ask who was the seed in Genesis three and fifteen, and I said you, you proven it right now. That's, that's, that's